how to use vector designs with the assets panel in Affinity Photo. Firstly, create some vectors, vector designs. Now I could use the pen tool. You could of course import vector design. I'm just gonna create some quick vector designs using the star tool. And I can make them any size. I can also change the color, change the stroke. And also I can change various properties of the star. Now I'm gonna select them all. Because what I wanna do, I wanna create them as a group. If I save them to the assets panel without grouping them, they will be added individually. I don't want that, I want them added as that group. So go to the layers panel and right click and go down to group. So they're all grouped. You see a group will be created for them. Now, when you go to the assets and then add them to the selection, they will be added as a complete group. So there's the assets there, click there. And you can find it via View, Studio, and Assets. You can see all the various ones, brushes, etc., macro, whole range of different other panels. So Assets is the key one here. And the assets can be saved and then used in future projects or in the current project, current work, current document. Just go to the right side and add from selection. And you can repeat that number of times just to add them into things. So if you do some changes to that design now, and then you can go to add from selection again. Any changes, so if I draw now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to go to that, those stars, and you can just drag them into the document. And they're still vector designs. But any changes made to those stars will not be reflected in the assets. They're not updated. So you can just make multiple copies, they're not linked. So you can resize it, modify the individual designs, and they won't all, it's not like a symbols. If you go to Affinity Designer, there's a symbols feature, and some applications have symbols, where if you change something, it will change it. Assets don't, it's just an asset. So you can modify individual parts, and the others will not change. And you can move them around, change the colors, etc. And you can see in the assets, if you go to the assets, there will be no change at all. So if I go back to the assets panel and drag, it will be exactly as before. And of course you can then tweak and change that star or any other shape you select. And of course you can add additional designs to that. But you can do a little bit more with assets than that. There's a few other things you can do with assets. I'm just gonna show you now. And not stars. So you can see all the groups there. Again, the assets down there, still there, and you can still just drag them. And of course I've saved other ones. And you've got type and those sort of things also available. Now select another shape, a diamond in this case. And you can change color. Go to the fill. Now I could go for a gradient. By default, it always goes with a very odd gradient. I don't know why it never remembers the last gradient you've used. That will be such a nice feature. Anyway, just going to go with the grayscale gradient there. So I've got the gradient. And what I can now do, of course, I can save that to the assets. And the gradient will be remembered as well. Also, what I can do, I can also go to layer menu and convert to curve. So that's just a, just a standard vector design. It's not a shape. So I can use the various, the node tool, and I can just move, just move them around. So I can create that design. Now what I can do, I can save that design to the assets. So you don't have to have multiple designs, you can just have a single vector design. So right side menu again, and add from selection. 
in the assets panel. And it's saved with the gradient. And of course, what you can do, you can then go to the there and drag game. Create new designs there. And you'll see at the top, you've got the fill there. You can go and change the color if you wish. I'm, I'm not going to do that, but you could change the color of that design. Still live. Of course, any change will not be reflected in the assets panel. And of course, you could select all of those, group them via the layer, layers panel, and then add those as an asset. Another thing is you can use like shapes and there's properties to shapes. So you can just modify. So I'm just going to quickly show you there. I'm just going to change. This is, I'm using a donut or the ring design, ring shape. And what I can do, I can add that now. With that selected, I can go to that right side menu and add from selection. So that's stored away there. Delete that one, and I can, of course, go to the old one there, one that's in the assets, and drag it in to the document. And then, of course, go over to the shape tools there. It's before, just select that. And once you've got that, you can select the change of gradient, but you can also still change the properties. So the properties, these interactive properties, are also stored away in the assets. Now I've got another design here, and this is multiple shapes. They're just individual shapes. Layers panel. And what I'm going to do, again, I can right click, I can group them. So I can group them all into one. And you can use this approach maybe to fill the entire screen with lots and lots of designs. So you've got that design there. Go to assets. And you can go to the that menu again right on the right side, add from selection, and it's stored again as a vector group. And what you can do then, you can just drag. And you can resize, but you can fill the entire screen with that design. So if you want a quick, sort of loads of spots and dots all over the screen, you can quickly use this approach. Let's just move the panel over a bit. You can also apply filters, maybe use a twirl or deform, etc. If you use the filter menu, it'll be turned into a raster. You may not wish that to happen. A better option is to keep it as a vector and use a live filter layer. So go to the layer menu and new live filter layer. I'm going to the blurs and Gaussian blur, but of course you could use any of the other live filter layers. There are also others like colors and distort filters. The great thing about a live filter layer, it doesn't change the vector design into a raster. So you can just blur the design. If you go to the layers panel, you can now go to that group and you will see that the live filter layer is associated to that layer only. And you can modify the blur, of course, as well, as well as add additional live filter layers. And of course, you can then duplicate those. But with that selected, you can then go to the Assets panel. There, right side, and Add from Selection. And you've got your blurred group there. And of course you do, then you can go over to your group, and you can just drag it over there and add multiple blurred designs. Now, if I go to the layers with that, and I'm just going to go to that in a sec, but I'll just add a few just to fill it. So you can create all kinds of stuff. So you could create maybe obviously ones without the blur, ones with the blur, and so on and so on. Now go to layers. You go there to the group, and you can see the live filter layer. And of course, what you can do, you can vary it. So you can double click on that live filter layer, and you can change the blur, still active. You can also change 
the shapes so you can resize. And now this is just for that individual group. Again, the asset is not changed. And you can repeat that. Of course, create multiple. And also what you can do, you can convert to curves, convert to donut, and so on and so on. And again, all unchanged in the assets. And then you can just continue to, and of course you could save that group as a new asset, if you wish. So assets are a very powerful feature, great with vectors as well as pixel layers, etc. Resize, and you can recolor and all those sort of things, as well as remove items if you wish. You can see the assets there. Hope you found this of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always adding new tutorials about Finity Photo, Photoshop, Illustrator, and many others. Please add some comments. Always appreciated. A dislike or like. Thank you much.